Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you a step by step explanation of how to make a beautiful 15 dollar power supply from laptop power supply. This power supply can lift 39 volt at max 4.6 F that is 180 watt of DC power and that will do this to your lovely pencil. Of course you want to burn your pencil in your room with your power supply. And you can also do some spark if you want some fun time, of course. <laughs> I will give you the schematics in the video description. Let's start by the components you might need. That is, perf board 100 micro volt capacitor 50 kilo ohm potentiometer 100 micro hand inductor a diode LM2576 1.2 kilo ohm resistor or 1000 micro volt 50 volt capacitor toggle switch a couple of DC jack two crocs a big switch a knob a voltmeter combo some rubber fits four of them and you also need some cables a lot of them then take your two laptop power supply and a huge project box for fitting them in. Start the components for the buck converter on the perf board according to the schematics. Be sure to pass everything as narrow as possible and don't forget to leave room for heatsink. Leave the diode and the resistor later for later solder them on. Now you need to solder everything as close, as safe, as thick as possible. This will take some skill and patience and please make sure everything is flawless. If you want a flawless circuit, which you do, it is worth your time to print the schematic I made in the description and check after I check every continuity after every single solder connection is solder. Now for the diode, which we left behind, uh, fair said. I recommend cover most of the pin with heat shrink for a much reliable connection. So this we we're not gonna face any short. I solder it as close as possible to the IC you see here in my sketch. In my case, I solder the diode on the back of my perf board for ultimate closeness. Every millimeter you mean here will affect the output. Now the only work left for the buck converter is to solder the potentiometer with long cable and the 1.2 kilo ohm resistor. Solder it to your board and test all continuity right. Now you cut two cables so it's four. Uh, then solder it. To the input and the output. Now I'm gonna test my buck converter with real 24 volt supply connected straight to box input and the output to a multimeter. So the output is to a multimeter. Now we're gonna test buck in the voltage by turning the potentiometer. And buck in the voltage seems to work fine and flawless, and it can buck it to like low, I guess low. Now once you're done, install the heatsink and cut the board to your preferred size. Then I set your boss supply with an electrical tape so they doesn't go anywhere I don't like of course so they stick together. Then uh, I cut both IC input with a gigantic scissor. Is it even a scissor. Then I made a big hole in my box for the IC socket with a hacksaw. Uh, this, is, this needs some patience. And now I'm gonna drill two holes for the securing screw so this thing doesn't go anywhere. I also drill and sew a hole for the switch, so you can put it in, I mean for what, uh, you drill a hole, I also drilled a hole for the DC jack in the front, I drilled a hole for the potentiometer and the rubber fits, and later I'll also drill a hole for the toggle switch, you'll also need a triple A battery holder. Then I made a problem, like I always do, this thing doesn't fit, so I need to to drill the case so the cable goes out and then goes in so yeah next I cut and strip two cable for the AC input and I'm gonna strip one more for the ground then you have to solder it here once you're done soldering on add your heat shrink good now you solder two cable for the power switch now you put your socket and switch in once you're done and solder the AC input according to the schematics. Now solder two wire on the on your DC jack. So it's easier, okay? Once you're done soldering them, do the same for the toggle switch. Then take your battery pack and place it wherever you want inside the casing with your hot glue. For safety solder all negatives to the AC ground. Done. Connect the switch input to the power supply. So connect it. Uh, of course, it's your soldering iron. Okay. Now the buck converter. Positive gonna go straight to supply. And the negative gonna go to the toggle switch input. I mean, this thing. Uh, yeah, maybe you might be. 
very confused by now but uh, look at the schematics is easy to see and it's good okay let's continue uh -huh. secure the photometer according to our schematics now secure and lock the DC jack to the case then connect both wires according to the schematic now our connection should be done by now so uh, okay good and let's secure this thing our connection is done by now and you have to secure everything with electrical tape but before the test I do mind that this project will take an info of huge amount of space patience mass and money and water flow look at what this thing has done to my table so plug the IC input and nothing is happening because we haven't turned this back switch and nothing happens because we haven't switched the toggle switch let's hope for us for a full circuit and nothing will blow up here yes and oh it shows it's on it shows 38.1 and now if you adjust the potentiometer the voltage should change okay let's try it um Yes, it does! It's so good, actually. Watching a fashion one circuit running smooth. Now, for the... Uh, oh, okay. It, it bugged it to like low, right? Now, for the top casing, I'm gonna use acrylic. Uh, you see here? Acrylic, and I'm gonna cut it outside. This is pretty hard, you know, cutting the acrylic, so uh, I do mind that you need some patience. So this is it. Comes to rainbow after the storm, not a perfect acrylic, beautiful knob, and the toggle switch is all, all set. So, shall we turn this thing on? Of course, we, sh we should turn this thing on. So, turn this thing on, and... There you go, it's on! Smooth, adjustable, efficient power supply that you want. You can use it for experimenting, burning pencils, and power up everything you need with 0 0.9 to 38 volt. Not to mention the sparking fun. So, okay. Schematic is in the description, print it before you start making this project. I recommend use a metal case which I failed to find, just make sure you have a good quality connection and components. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like it, support me by like it. If you want to receive notification for future one, one project per month, you can click the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching and I hope I will see you next time. Indonesian version coming soon.